Hello, and welcome to another video. Today, I'll be reviewing Sickles, which is definitely one of the strongest abilities in Rogue Demon. Sickles is an absolute powerhouse, with a high damaging moveset capable of deleting HP bars. I'll be going over the moveset, tips and tricks, how to fight against it, and the pros and cons of this Blood Demon art. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first move that Sickles has access to is Flying Sickles, and it is by far the best move that Sickles has in its toolset. On usage, the user shoots two blood projectiles at the person targeted by the move. These projectiles shoot out separately but confirm into each other, and when the move lands, it does fairly high damage as well as a sizable amount of stun. This move can be used to combo extend and combo start. The user can hold this move for as long as they want and will take a stance while doing so. Something interesting to note about this move is that if nobody is targeted when a user activates the move, the move will not go on cooldown unlike other moves similar to it, like Sixfold and Unknowing Fire. This move is blockable, but the projectiles don't have 360 degree blocking on them, so they can go behind block. The cooldown for this move is 15 seconds. The second move in Sickle's toolset is Rampant Rampage, which is a fairly simple but effective move. When the move is used, the user does a flurry of slashes in front of them for a short period of time, doing decent damage and stunning anyone hit. The move is capable of combo starting and combo extending, so it's quite useful for dealing damage in combos. An interesting thing to note about this move is that it's guarded, meaning that while this move is active, you're blocking. Because of this property, Rampant Rampage is a very good move for winning M1 traits. The cooldown for this move is 12 seconds. The third move in Sickle's toolset is its evasive, Circular Slashes, which is very unique compared to other evasives in the game. When used, the user throws out both of their arms to the side and generates two cyclones around them. After a small delay, the user then knocks back anyone near them in a small radius, dealing damage and stunning those hit for a long amount of time. Because of the long stun on this move, it is capable of starting a combo. This move bypasses block, but the evasive can be avoided by dodging backwards quickly enough. Something that makes this move very unique from others is that you can use this evasive while someone is executing you. This gimmick tends to be useless in anything other than team fights, though. The cooldown for this move is 20 seconds. The final move that Sickles has is its ultimate, Blood Rage, which is a very good ultimate. In order to use the move, the user must hold it for a set duration of time. After the move has been held for long enough, the user fires it out, sending a very fast blood projectile that damages and ragdolls anyone in its path. The user must hold the move for one second, but can hold it longer to increase the damage. The damage of the move increases every second you hold it, but stops increasing after 3 seconds, meaning that if you want to deal the most damage possible with this move, you have to hold it for 3 seconds. The projectile sent out by this move block breaks, and cannot be perfect blocked. An interesting thing to note about this move is that even though it doesn't have hyper armor, if the user is interrupted while charging, they will automatically release the move. This means that you are pretty much safe while charging the move once you've reached 1 second, since anyone who tries to hit you will usually get hit by the move. Also, if you are cancelled before you are able to release the move, the move will not go on cooldown and you can use it again when you have the chance. The cooldown for this move is on the shorter side for ultimates, only being 35 seconds. So, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how to best use Sickles. Probably one of the most notable things about Sickles is that your damage output is insane. Every single move in your arsenal is great for starting combos or chipping off HP from your opponent. Flying Sickles is one of the best moves in the entire game. It does very high damage for a ranged combo starter, can go behind block, and can lead into a high damaging combo string. It can also shut down an enemy assault or chase someone who's running away. It is incredibly versatile. That is why one of the main things you need to learn is how to bypass block with the move. To do this, dash over someone's head and hit them with the move as you go over them. This will cause the projectiles to go behind their block and allow you to combo them. Another thing you need to learn is how to move stack, because learning move stacking will allow you to use blood rage in your combos. Doing 5 and ones and then doing blood rage at the same time as your last hit will almost always hit your opponent. So if you want to be safe, you can wait for them to dash and then release the move. One final trick that you can do with the Sickle Blood Demon Art is to combo extend with circular slashes against a wall. 
If you knock your opponent against a wall, you can use circular slashes on the end lag of the last hit to stun your opponent and continue comboing them. Even though this isn't something you'll get to use often, it can add some extra damage if needed. Your first two combo starters, Rampant Rampage and Flying Sickles, can both be used to win M1 trades or shut down enemy assaults. If someone is rushing you with M1s, using those two moves can easily catch them off guard and start a combo. Finally, when using Blood Rage, it's recommended to wait for your opponent to dash and then hit them after they waste it. You are a powerhouse of Sickles, and once you've mastered everything you need to know to use it, you have almost no weaknesses. Now, here's a one-shot combo for the Sickle Blood Demon art. With that being said, that's the end of the tips and tricks section. Now on to counterplay. To start off the counterplay section, Sickles is one of the most dangerous abilities in the entire game. This is due to a lot of factors such as its high damage output, powerful combos, and high damage and ranged ult. But the most dangerous move in Sickles arsenal by far is Flying Sickles. You have to watch out for this move, and cannot afford to get hit by it. Because if you do end up getting hit by it, you'll take a boatload of damage and get comboed by your opponent. This move most commonly gets thrown out in neutral by players when you're rushing them, or when they're rushing you. If you're able to see the animation and the sickle is coming, just block and they won't be able to hit you. However, at higher levels of play, this move will be used to bypass block. You can counter this by dashing backwards and blocking, so that the projectiles cannot go over your head. Make sure to know when you have to watch out for this move because it is extremely dangerous. You can help keep track of the cooldown of this move by paying attention to your own cooldowns, as a move's cooldown of 15 seconds is similar to other moves in the game. The other moves that Sickle has aren't too dangerous, but they're worth speaking about. Rampant Rampage is guarded, so unless you hit them with a guard break, they won't be damaged by anything you do. This move is commonly used to either combo extend or win an M1 trade, so be on the lookout if you're M1 trading with your opponent. As for the evasive, circular slashes, this move has a fairly simple counter. When you hear the move activate, simply dash backwards and you'll usually escape. You can breathe and then dash as well to gain more distance. Then, after you've backed away, if you have a ranged move you can hit them with it to either tack on some extra damage or continue your combo. Something else you can do to counter them however is use an iframe move if you have it. Moves like Flowing Tide, Sixfold, and Musical Combo are all invincible while being used so you can use this to avoid the evasive and continue to hit them. Finally, Blood Rage is probably one of the harder ults in the game to counter, as it's very fast and deals a lot of damage. If you're close enough to the opponent, simply hitting them before they can charge it for one second will interrupt them and cancel the move. If you're too far away however, make sure to watch out for the very short animation that plays before they use it, as you can dash away the moment you see it to avoid the move. Don't recklessly waste your dash, because if you do, you won't be able to dodge. Another option you have to counter this, however, is to use an iframe ability to hit them and cancel the move, since you won't be hit by it once the move automatically releases. Blood Rage also cannot change elevations, so if you climb up something or get below the user of the move, they cannot hit you. One last way to counter Blood Rage is to go behind a bush, as there's currently a bug in the game that makes it so Blood Rage gets stopped by hitting literally anything, even if it's not a solid object. However, this is a bug and is fairly situational, so I wouldn't rely on it too much. Sickles is very punishing to play around, and if you're reckless, well, you can basically say goodbye to your HP bar because it won't be around for much longer. That's the end of the counterplay section. Now for the conclusion. Overall, Sickles is definitely one of the most powerful abilities in the entire game. Flying Sickles is arguably the best move in the game with its high damage, combo starting capabilities, and the ability to bypass block if the user goes over the target. It has extremely powerful combos that can decimate the health bars of enemies, and its ultimate deals very high damage if it lands, even being able to confirm it to find Sickles at a close enough range. Even if Sickles doesn't have any great guard breaks, the ability to go behind block with flying Sickles essentially makes that weakness non-existent. The only other weakness that Sickles really has is that its evasive can be dodged, and can be countered with moves that have invincibility frames or range. Even then, that's a fairly situational weakness, and against players who aren't quick enough to react, 
This evasive is absolutely menacing, with its ability to confirm into M1s and deal decent damage. Sigils is amazing for combat, and if you're looking for a great blood demon art to kill players with, this is definitely a top contender. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to help me out with my channel. I plan to make more content like this in the future, so stay tuned, and have a great day. With that being said, I'm Noob Eternally, and that's the end of the video.